Hi scholars, it's time for us to learn about the next group of animals in science, and they are called mammals. Our goal for today is to be able to describe mammals. Now before we begin, it's always important to think about what you already know about a topic. So do you already know something about mammals? Hmm. This way, when we learn new information, it'll be easier to recognize. Our nonfiction book today is called Mammals by Karen Jones. The elephant, whale, squirrel, and human all have something in common. They are members of a group of animals called mammals. What are they called? Scientists put animals into groups based on their similarities. There are six main groups that we can put animals into to study and learn more about them. The groups are reptiles, birds, fish, amphibians, mammals, and invertebrates. So what are the bodies of mammals like? All mammals have hair or fur. Their fur keeps their bodies warm. Mammals have large brains compared to the size of their bodies and are some of the smartest animals on the planet. Mammals move in very different ways. Humans, that's us, we walk on two legs. Dogs walk on four legs. Dolphins, which are mammals, use flippers and a tail to swim. Bats use wings to fly. All mammals have body parts that help them move, see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. Some mammals have stronger senses than others. How do mammals breathe? All mammals breathe air through their lungs. Mammals cannot breathe underwater, but many can swim and hold their breath underwater, like the leopard seal or the whale or a dolphin. They can hold their breath underwater for a very long time. We can't. What do mammals eat? Well, mammals like lions, polar bears, and seals are known, known as carnivores because they eat other animals. Mammals such as the elephant, giraffe, and horse are known as herbivores because they eat only plants. Mammals like humans, that's us, pigs and bears are called omnivores because they eat both plants and animals. How do mammals reproduce? How do they have babies? Well, almost all mammals are born live, not hatched from an egg. They have to be taken care of until they are grown big enough to survive on their own. Mother mammals nurse their babies with their milk. Like this cow, he is getting milk from his mom. Most animals get milk from their moms. Where do mammals live? Mammals live on land, in water, and underground. Mammals live all over the world in many different kinds of habitats. Some mammals, like the camel, can live in hot, dry deserts. Other mammals, like the Arctic fox, live in very cold and snowy places. Mammals are warm-blooded, which means that their body can stay warm even if it's cold outside. How do they adapt or change in order to survive? Mammals have many different body parts, coverings, and behaviors that help them to survive in their habitats, like monkeys. Monkeys' tails have adapted to allow them to swing between the trees. The leopard's spots help it to blend into the tree bark. A porcupine's quills, these sharp things, help to protect it from predators so no one eats him. Some mammals, like the tiger and rhinoceros, they live alone. They don't want to live with anybody else. Others, like humans, deer, and dolphins live in family groups. 
Some mammals live in family groups to help each other find food and to protect their group from predators. Mammals are one of the many different types of animals alive today. Now, can you tell me one new thing you have learned about mammals? Awesome. We're gonna play a game now called Which Mammal? On this page, you see four mammals. Now, I want you to help me to figure out which of these mammals lives on a farm. The polar bear, cow, seal, or tiger. Next one. Which of these mammals walks on two feet? Giraffe, jaguar, camel, or human? Which one walks and moves on two feet? Okay, here's some new mammals. Which of these mammals can fly? The bat, dolphin, arctic fox, or raccoon? Which mammal can fly? Oh, look at these cute mammals. Which one of these mammals is bigger than a car? A dog, pig, rabbit, or elephant? Which mammal is bigger than a car? Ooh, interesting. Here's a kangaroo, a whale, a zebra, and a rhinoceros. Which of these animals lives in the water? Okay, friends, here we have a bison, hamster, mouflon, and ibex. Which of these mammals does not have horns? Which one does not have horns? Oh, they're so cute. Here's a hedgehog, porcupine, horse, and a monkey. Which of these mammals lives in the jungle? Good job, friends. Thank you for talking with me today about mammals, which are so cool. There are so many different kinds of mammals. In fact, well, I'm a mammal, you're a mammal, and my friend Amos is a mammal.